guys, welcome back to another video. I haven't done a good old spend the day with me in quite a while, so here we go. I got up pretty early on this morning because I really needed to finish some work. Work has been swamping me with stuff <laughs> lately and I just needed to catch up on some things. Connor, let me get up, honey. Okay, so after I woke Connor up, um, I got about 45 minutes of work in this morning. I went downstairs, let Milo out, and then Milo begged to go with us because he wanted to help me take Kira to early bird color guard practice. So that is what we did, and then we got coffee. Hi, can I get um, an egg and cheddar biscuit sandwich? And then can I also get a... Um, large iced Americano with extra ice and an extra shot. Yeah, a large iced Americano. What are you doing? Can you get a pup cup? Can you get a pup cup? Okay, so after I get home from taking Kira to early bird practice, I need to pack lunches. So Connor, I'm just making him a peanut butter and jelly this morning. That is always my fallback for him because he's honestly kind of picky about the sandwiches that he eats. I'm like, what kind of sandwiches do you want for your lunch? He's like BLTs. I'm like, oh, for God's sake. Like you're getting you're getting PB and J. So that's what I packed for him this morning. And then um, Adam also needed lunch today. I don't always pack his lunch, but if I'm packing Connor's, then if he needs lunch, I'll go ahead and make Adam a sandwich as well. So who likes good old ham and cheese loaf? Honestly, it's not my favorite, but it's one of the things that Adam likes for like a plain Jane sandwich. So I made that for him. And then of course we have to get the kids their water bottles for school. So filled that up. And then I also packed some grapes. That is one thing I love about having produce and everything prepped in the refrigerator for the week is it makes packing lunches so much easier. So for Connor, I packed him some grapes and a PB and J and some Fritos. I think I threw a Capri Sun in there, probably a yogurt. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I packed, but it was definitely not fancy. Uh, I had some leftover Caprese in the fridge. So I packed that for Adam in a little container. All right. So for Adam's lunch, I just packed a ham sandwich. This is a big container of watermelon. I got a huge watermelon at the farmer's market <laughs> this past weekend. Uh, and then just some chips. And then this is some caprese salad also that I made with um, some tomatoes from the farmer's market and some mozzarella. Okay, so y'all know that I am on a weight loss journey and I have been for the last, what seems like many, many months. <laughs> One of the things I always struggle with, especially when I do a low carb diet is constipation. The other thing is that I have to take iron supplements. I take a multivitamin with like a higher dose of iron in it and that also leads to constipation. Now, if you don't wanna talk about poop, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna talk about it in graphic detail, but I'm also a nurse and it doesn't bother me to talk about this stuff because when you're trying to lose weight and you're constipated, you're not gonna lose weight. <laughs> and so that is why I'm super excited that Colon Broom is sponsoring today's video. So thank you to them. You guys, I have tried so many different psyllium husk fiber supplements and this one is literally the best one I've ever tried. It is so, delicious the flavor is strawberry and it seriously tastes like 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 it tastes like straw like a strawberry beverage like almost i want to say strawberry lemonade because there's no lemon in it but it's like delightful it's really really good like honestly i think if you mix this up and gave it to someone and you didn't tell them it was a fiber supplement they would have no idea because it just tastes like strawberry deliciousness Anyway, I have been taking Colon Broom every single day for probably the last three to four weeks and it really, really helps me keep the unwanted weight off and it also helps with regularity as well, obviously because of the fiber. So per serving, it only has 20 calories, which is awesome. It only has one gram of net carb. There's four carbs, three grams of dietary fiber and um, it's sugar-free. So. It's perfect. Some of the main benefits of Colon Broom are that it works like a prebiotic and nourishes your good gut bacteria. It can also reduce bloating and help you stay regular. And if you're wondering how Colon Broom actually works and how it's all possible from a simple and easy to use supplement, this is how. So Colon Broom helps activate good fiber. The fiber then absorbs water and expands 
way beyond its original size in the digestive tract. The soluble fiber in colon brune traps sugar, cholesterol, and other fat, slowing their absorption into the body. It also creates gut movement and helps remove waste in your colon and just helps your body remove waste more quickly and efficiently. So this is actually the perfect time to, for me to be working with Colon Broom because it's their biggest sale yet. You can actually get up to 65% off on a six month supply of Colon Broom. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. You can also use my code CHAPIN10 for an additional 10% off. That's C-H-A-P-I-N-1-0 and you're gonna get even more savings on top of the already awesome sale. So click the link in the description box below or you can also tap the screen right here and get your discounted supply of colon broom. I promise you, this is like seriously the best tasting fiber supplement I have ever tried. If you struggle with this also, maybe you take iron, maybe you're on a low carb diet, maybe you just need some more fiber in your life because you're not really great about eating fruits and vegetables. I know that's me <laughs> sometimes as well. Definitely check out Colon Broom. Again, I'll have that link in the description box below. I can't believe how good this tastes. Like, it's crazy, crazy. Okay, so before I for real start work for the day and I'm on the clock, I may, wanna make sure that I get ready. Um, I always try to do this in the morning um, especially after I get Connor on the bus, I have about 30 minutes before I need to log into work. And so honestly, like I, I get annoyed with having to put on makeup every day. Not that I have to put on makeup every day, you know, um, but it's just, I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's wasted time, especially when you work from home. But I do feel like at least when I throw some makeup on and do my hair, at least maybe a little bit of tinted moisturizer and some mascara, that is normally like the extent of what I do, especially when I'm at home, I do feel like I'm a little bit better and ready to go <laughs> for the day. So I did have some calls that I had to present on today. So I wanted to get ready. It kind of just depends on what I have going on. Honestly, if there are days when I am just doing a lot of desk work, like if I am pulling a bunch of data or just making, you know, working on presentations or doing desk work, stuff like that. I don't always get myself ready, but then I kind of feel like a hobo at the end of the day. So I don't know. You guys that work from home, let me know what you do. Um, I did go ahead and straighten my hair today. And then this is the outfit that I wore. This shirt and these pants are from Torrid. I'll try to link them down below if they're available. Um, I'm going to do a Torrid haul soon. And then I am being terrible today for breakfast and I'm having nuts and pepperoni and cheese because that is what I had time to do. And then I also made up some of my element electrolyte packs. I've been loving using those to keep hydrated. Right. I am taking my lunch and I'm gonna go get a coffee and probably a salad from Wendy's just because I feel like treating myself to a coffee. It's like, this morning I've been just like back to back to back to back presenting calls, presenting on calls, on meetings, like Milo, you're not wearing your seatbelt. Milo's with me. You want a pup cup? You want a pup cup? A pup cup? He's like, I don't know what a pup cup is. We'll see if they give you one. Sometimes they don't give them to you at Dunkin' Donuts. They usually always give them to, to me at high V. Okay, I have been on, I gotta tell you guys, I have been on the uh, religious documentary obsession train for the last few days. Uh, the first thing I listened to wasn't really a documentary. It was an interview on the Mormon Stories podcast on YouTube. Um, Alicia Wall, I think is her name. She was in the FLDS. Oh my gosh. Her story is like incredible. They did a three-part podcast. It was like 12 hours long. So it was like four hours each episode. So I listened to that over like several days. And then she mentioned a documentary on Peacock called Preaching Evil. It's about the FLDS and Warren Jeffs and all that. So I watched that. Previously, I watched Keep Sweet and Obey or whatever that was on Netflix. And then now I started watching the Hillsong documentary on Hulu. So if you have any other high demand religion slash extremist religious documentaries let me know i've probably watched a lot of them anyway i was like trying to figure out why i'm so 
like not necessarily behind but like why I'm so like swamped at work like I've been getting up early pretty much every morning at like 5 or 5 30 working until I have to get the kids ready for school and then working straight through till like 4 or 5 at night like I just have so much stuff to do well it's because we're like four people short right now at work and so it's just like I don't know there's just like things piling up and I'm kind of getting exhausted which is part of why I wasn't super productive this past weekend because I just like vegged out on the couch I did get some things done for YouTube but like typically in the mornings uh, I'll wake up early and get stuff done for YouTube and that's like my time to work on it and then obviously again in the evenings um, but yeah, that's probably why my posting schedule has been a little bit erratic. I don't know. I just can't, I just can't seem to get it together. But really, who does have it together, you know? I don't think there's really many of us that have it together. I mean, we might look like we have it together, but we probably, we probably don't. Jennifer? Yes. Oh my goodness, you have a job too. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Bye. Okay. Um, he so can. you say no? He can have one, yes. He can? Yes. Perfect. He would love that. Yeah, you, sweetie pie. <laughs> Here's some extra napkins just in case. Thank you. I'll give him a bigger cup. He'll have to have a bigger one to fit that nose of his. Yeah, your sweet, beautiful nose, handsome. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's like, I love it. He's like, she's my new friend. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy. Here, we'll put it down there. Okay, if you guys are worried about Murphy, don't worry. I did get him a plain hamburger from Wendy's, so I will give him that when we get home. <laughs> when we get home. I don't want you to think he's being left out, okay? Murphy wants Murphy wants a treat two. You want treat two? Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, so I need to get back to work and um, go eat my lunch. But I made some freezer meals last weekend. This is a copycat Wendy's chili. Um, I've never tried this particular recipe before, but we're gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna put it in the crock pot and I'm gonna crank it up to high and hopefully it'll be done <laughs> by dinner. So this is what the chili looked like after it cooked for probably about five hours on high. The beef was nice and tender. I do definitely recommend this recipe. I would say it does taste really close to Wendy's chili. And whenever I make chili, I also make hot dogs because my daughter Kira is not a huge fan of chili. So I always like to have something for her. And then that way, if Adam and Connor um, happen to want a chili dog, I can make that as well. I shredded up some cheese. I didn't have any cheddar. Um, or actually I did have, I guess, a little bit of shredded cheddar. I don't know. I was just using up what I had in the fridge. Monterey Jack is what I just shredded. And then I served that with some onions on top for Adam with some crackers. And then of course, before I ate my dinner, I had to get some more work done. I was coming up against some very tight deadlines <laughs> these last couple of weeks. Thankfully, a lot of that is over with. So I think I'm going to get some reprieve here in the coming weeks from work. Okay. So I'm gonna make a salad for my dinner. This is like a half of one of those, one, oh, half of one of those um, like dill pickle ranch salads. And then I have some leftover real good foods, uh, chicken that I cooked in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna add that and I'm gonna cut the big pieces up. And that's what I'm gonna eat. And I don't know if I told you what I ate for lunch i got a cheeseburger with no bun and a chicken caesar salad from wendy's Your salads are actually very good i prefer panera salads but we don't have panera here because of course i live in the middle of nowhere so you know wendy's will have to do I really hope you guys use my link down below along with my discount code chapin 10 to check out colon broom i highly highly recommend their product it is seriously so delicious and it makes me like excited to take my fiber which i can't really say about any other fiber product <laughs> that i've ever tried um, but thank you for spending the day with me today i know i just worked a lot today and i feel like it wasn't very exciting but that's just how some days are i've been thinking about maybe doing weekly vlogs like monday through friday spend 
spend the work week with me. So if you guys are interested in that kind of content, let me know. Maybe I'll film one next week. Obviously, it would include like food and, you know, what I eat in a day, but also just things that I'm doing to get work done or take kids places. So yeah, thank you guys as always for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.